red shirt right now because it was the only clean shirt I could find in my room in piles of like lots of shirts. And so my options of clean shirts were this shirt or the shirt that says Tana across it. And I felt like this was a little bit less of like, hey, I'm an asshole. So yeah, I'm not just like hardcore shameless self promoing this time. I'm genuinely just a gross ass bitch. But on that note, if you want my merch, you can totally buy it at ambitiouscustomprinting.com. I hate me so much. Hi guys, it's Tana Mojo and today's video is going to be another installment of one of my childhood stories where I just did something absolutely crazy and I just told this story and I completely lost my voice throughout it because it's literally that crazy of a story. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that right now. It is free and you will be notified of all of my videos. I post pretty much every day or every other day. Yeah, so I just want to get into this story. It is a crazy one. I was a crazy motherfucking child and I have no words. Okay, so the first story takes place in like third, fourth grade. Some Somewhere around there, I don't know the exact year, so don't quote me, but I was in elementary school. And the day that I dreaded the absolute most in elementary school was field day. And I know you're like, what? I don't know if you have field day, I'll explain it in a minute. But every kid really, really likes field day, but I was that one kid that fucking dreaded it. Like every single year I would beg the teachers, the administration, the PE teachers not to let me participate in field day. I would always try to fake sick on field day. I would beg my parents not to go on field day, like blah blah blah. Because basically if you don't know what field day is, it's a day where they make you spend all day that you would normally spend in your classes, which is like six hours, doing sports, running, like like engaging in sport type activities and like they're like fun I guess you could say you know what I mean like they're it's like races to get things done you're like competing against other kids and like blah 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 but our field day was always in May and in Vegas in May it's like 110 degrees outside I'm not kidding you can literally look it up like it's it was one of the like hottest days in the school year every year conveniently they would only like give us like little tiny cups of water and we had to wear like gym shorts and shirts and I was a little stylish ass bitch I didn't like that shit okay so anyway I absolutely fucking hated field day fucking hated field day so much and so every year I would literally on field day like my parents would just like make me go like you have to work out like you have to exercise like it's good for you everybody else does it and has fun just go you don't have to like go in just like participate but every year on field day I would throw the biggest fit I would be the kid that just like followed my teacher around and like refused to participate in the activities would like literally be like I'm so thirsty and like fake die of heat stroke just to like get more water because I really was I'm very very like weak also like lifting things running still to the Day. I can't even open a water bottle on my own and I mean it. That's why I think it's funny when people are like, she tries to act hard. I would get my ass beat in any form of physical altercation ever. I am so weak. But anyway, so yeah, I just fucking hated field day and I know that that was a long explanation but I want you guys to like really understand like the deep rooted hatred that I possessed for field day. So this year, whatever it was, third, fourth, fifth, whatever, it was the last field day that I ever remember having or ever participated in. But I remember up coming to the week of this field day, I was begging my teacher, her name was Ms. Maddox, begging her to like not let me have to part participate, I can't English, in field day, like on my hands and knees every day in class I was saying like, I'll help you clean up after school, I'll do anything you want, like give me books of math homework, I'll do that instead, that's better for my brain anyway, like begging my parents to not have to go and I still ended up having to go. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, I told this story the other day in Canes and literally was like crying tears of laughter. That's why I decided to tell it here. But anyways, okay, so field day finally comes. And the day, I believe it's like 105 degrees out and we all have to change into our fucking fugly ass. I might have a penis ass, basketball shorts, and like it's just my hair's in a slicked back ponytail. Tana didn't do that shit either. I looked so bad in slicked back ponytails as a kid. If I can find this one picture, I'll insert it. But if not, it's like little me with a slicked back ponytail and I'm like, and it's just so ugly and I look so creepy. 
thing I hated in one day. So we get out to the field and it's all set up like for school. Like there's all these like tracks set up and all these like, like posters and like shit in the ground to like make for like events that we participate in and like tables with tents with water and everyone's like, yay, field day. And I'm like trailing behind all the kids like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And my teacher's like coercing me, but she's fed up. Like she has heard me all week be like, I don't want to do field day. So she's like, come on, like you just got to do it. Like it's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. Like she's trying to like console me, but she's also like, I fucking hate this kid so fucking much. I don't get paid enough to do this job. Like, like that, like, you know what I mean? Like over my fucking shit. So we get out to the first activity and I remember this so fucking vividly and it was the dumbest activity ever like who thought of this in their brain basically on this field there was tape set up along the grass to create like little like lines that were probably like like 20 feet long maybe something like that i'm re-watching this and editing right now and dying because i honestly have no idea how long 20 feet is it was honestly like the amount of like 20 paces, but I literally just randomly said 20 feet. Like, I don't know how fucking long 20 feet honestly is. Like, I'm such a piece of shit. And you and a partner of your choice had to have like one of those, these soft like, like dodgeballs basically. And each of you would stand at one end and you would take the dodgeball, run it to your partner, drop it off, run back. And then they would run it to you, drop it off, run back. And the first person to like, or like group to do that like 20 times, like won this little like altercation thing. You know what I mean? So it's like 105 degrees out. I'm literally already drenched in sweat just from the walk from the classroom to the field and I'm not even kidding you like that should tell you how weak I was I don't know so we start doing this activity and I like pathetically jog the ball back and forth to her a couple times she does it to me a couple times and we're probably at like the 12th or 13th one of it and I look at my teacher and I'm like I just can't do this anymore and she's like you have to she's like yelling at me like not like mean but trying to like coach me you know what I mean she's like you have to do it like just do it and I'm like I can't do it and she's like just try blah 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 like just try and I'm like I can't try like I'm hot I'm exhausted blah 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 I can't do it basically just like literally in the ambulance eating french fries right now like being such a little bitch and so I run one more time to do this activity and I feel a little bit dizzy but in the most melodramatic way ever in life I fall to the ground and I did such a good job of like acting like I felt dizzy but I didn't like that that didn't need to happen, you know what I mean? But I fall to the ground. And then no one notices for some reason. Like the teacher's like off and away. Everyone keeps running. And while I'm there, I start scream crying for someone to like come over and help me. And this is where I was the most fucked up, psychopath, crazy child ever. Like my hatred for field day made me do this to myself. And I'm gonna say this, and I guarantee you're gonna unsubscribe, thumb this video down, comment some fucking therapeutic ass shit, or just leave, because even just saying it, like, what the fuck? So I'm laying there on the ground with my hand like covering my head, and I punch myself in the nose. <laughs> and I don't mean like, I mean like I was so determined to get out of this field day that I go boom in my own face. <laughs> so fun fact about me to make this story like so much more. I get really, really, really bad nosebleeds, and I have my whole life, and I've talked about this in a video before, and by bad, I literally mean like, I've had to get my nose packed, cauterized, all that shit, 20 plus times in life, and like when my nose bleeds really bad from the bottom of my heart, as truthful as I can say it, blood will come out of my eyes, it will come out of my ears, and it will come out of my mouth, because your sinus tract is connected to all three of those things, and when your nose fills up with blood, it has nowhere else to go. So my nose has blood like that my entire life, basically. Basically, it's just like really dry and cracked but where it's dry and cracked clinically it's connected to like some form of blood I don't know how this all works I don't have a bleeding disorder though I've been tested for every single one but anyways so my nose is one of those noses that if it even just gets tapped kind of hard it starts pouring blood that's why I never really want to fist fight someone ever because I would immediately look like I was gonna lose like no matter what because the second anything touches my nose it just starts pouring blood so I mean knowing this in my little demented child brain punch myself as hard as I can in the nose and then I go like blow out of my nose like as hard as possible and it starts pouring blood and while I'm laying there I'm pretending like I'm crying but like and like the teachers are starting to console me but I'm smearing blood this is so fucked up like fuck I've 
never told a story that makes me look more insane. Smearing blood all over my face and neck and hands and everything. So finally, I like come up from the ground and blood is just on my hands, my wrists, and my face, and it's pouring out of my nose. <laughs> and all the teachers and administrators are around me and they're like, <gasps> like I'm not even kidding. Like they're all ready to just pick me up and be like, it's okay, go back into field day. And they're all like, come on. Oh my god. And then I, and then I look at them and do everything in my power not to laugh because I'm psycho. And I go, ah! like, I scream like that, like at them. And they're like, it's okay, it's okay. And then the principal comes over. And I've never seen a grown man who works in a school have more sheer terror in a child ever. And he's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that field day, like, you really couldn't do it. Like, we should have listened. It's okay, honey. It's okay. And he gets me, like, a tissue or something. And he walks me to the principal's office. <laughs> and I'm sitting, no, not the principal's office, the nurse's office. And I'm sitting in the nurse o nurse's office and they're trying to, like, clean this blood off me. And I'm just, like, profusely crying, being like, I hate field day. Like, why would you do this to me? And then, like, 20 minutes later, my parents show up <laughs> because they call my parents. And there's, like, blood all over me, like, blah, 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 still. And so my parents are mad because they think something, like, is wrong with me, like, happened to me during field day. And now they're like, honey, we're so sorry. We should have listened to you, like, blah, blah, blah. So the principal at this point is like, you can just go home. I'm so sorry for what we put you through. You can have the rest of the day off. My parents took me home, cleaned me up, took me for ice cream. They bought me a new toy. They bought me a new toy. And I'm starting to feel bad for this, but I'm still, like, keeping up the act of, like, Field day ruined my life, you know what I mean? So then the principal calls my house and says, hey, tomorrow we just want to tell you that we're going to let Tana skip lunch and come eat pizza and ice cream in the principal's office and she can just relax and we're so sorry for what we did to her. So then my parents tell me like, yeah, tomorrow you're going to skip lunch and you're going to eat pizza and ice cream with the principal. And in elementary school, if you got to like eat lunch with the principal for like a good thing, like you were the shit, you know what I mean? So I'm like so hyped, but still like mwahaha, like purple devil emoji. So I go to school the next day and lunchtime comes around and I'm eating my pizza and my ice cream in the principal's office and I'm sitting there with the principal and I finish my pizza and ice cream and I look at him and I say <laughs> I was so dumb for being so malicious by the way and like wanting to do this like everything was fine I should have just kept up with it whatever like went back to class but I look at him and I say yesterday I punched myself in the face and none of this was true and like I punked you like you should have not let me go to field day and this would have never happened and the principal goes from like and he had this like big black mustache. That's like all I remember. And his mustache went from like, to like, and he's like, what you've done is so wrong, blah, blah, blah. So then they call my parents into the principal's office again to tell them that I lied and I'm just crying and I come clean. And then my parents take away my new toy and ground me for like a month. And then for the rest of that year, I, the principal just did not fucking like me. But I never ever participated in a field day again. So, I mean. I just want you guys to go back and hear the progression of my voice in that story because now it's like gone. <laughs> Alright, well that was it for the crazy time that I punched myself in the face to get out of field day and then came clean and got in trouble for it. I was an absolutely nuts child. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more story times, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It would mean everything to me. We are so close to 500,000. And I love you guys so much and I'm so appreciative of your support. Make sure to follow me on all my social media below. Just made a Facebook page as well. That will be down there. If you guys want to go like it, that would mean the world to me. I love being able to talk to you guys and I feel like Facebook will be a wonderful way to do that. And a lot of people were making fake ones of me so now the real deal is up and that is the only real deal. And if you do want a infamous bleach and tone shirt, I will link that below as well. And you can check out my closet if you ever want to know what I'm wearing or where it's from. My online closet is below and if you just click on that, you can see where everything I wear is from. So yeah, that's about it for all of my crazy links and I'm so, so thankful for your support and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.